five or whatever at, at the moment. So let me get right up to date with the critical funding issues that all providers are facing. There is a real crisis out there. And ALP is working virtually full time with the LSE and government to make some real sense of the situation we're in. We are making progress. Graham's full time on it and Judy and others. And um, it's probably in the short term never been as bad uh, in my experience as it. Mind you, it was pretty bad before, so I'm sure there you go. Uh, we've sought and received absolute assurances from the Secretary of State, Ed Balls, that all the work you've done and will increasingly need to do. But don't sue me if this doesn't happen. <laughs> Need to do for 16 to 18 year olds will be funded. That's the good news. And this successful outcome is a direct result of constant health pressure over the last two months. But before you say it, we're very aware the message is still not being conveyed to you by frontline LSE staff. Only yesterday, we sent in an example from the Northwest where 16 to 18 funding was still being withheld and received an instant response from David Hughes, one of the senior directors of the LSC, that the correct message would be delivered after all. Uh, it wasn't just uh, there wasn't funding, it was the 16 to 18 extra funding was for schools and colleges only. And this was in an email from a uh, region of the LSC. So please let Graham know of any problems you still encounter on 16 to 18, and uh, there may well be some still. But I'm sure the 16 to 18 battle has been won. A more difficult area of training to gain adult apprenticeships. Once again, we have a picture of high level assurances this week and last at the national level, and totally contradictory and highly damaging messages at the front line. Yesterday, Graham spelt out to the new chief executive, Jeff Russell, in front of the DIUS Minister Sean Simon, who is speaking tomorrow, that the palatable national picture, because everyone gets assured in these meetings, we have been hearing during the last week bears no resemblance at all to the information providers and employers. He notes that the Chamber of Commerce and CBI are starting to talk about it, are receiving at the sharp end. I mean, I, 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 I'm like you, I run a training company. And in the last week, we've heard from two different regions, quote unquote, on the phone in, in emails, there is no more money. And it's totally wrong. The Chancellor gave his budget uh, recently, confirmed the budget, for example, for Train to Gain, as it was for the next two years. There are clearly problems about the LSC knowing where they're at. But that's the message we were getting, I guess, some of you as well. And it's... Uh, pretty bad. So we made it brutally clear we're not interested in percentage reductions for poor quality providers. Uh, we pointed out that the top providers are already issuing redundancy notices, cutting back and even closing whole delivery units. And when Graham does this, he, he can sometimes give real examples. And many, many employers are getting confused. I mean, there are still adverts on buses and in local papers about train to gain. Um, you know, at the moment, in major parts of the country, a lot of people cannot start, and the same applies to adult apprenticeships. So, I stress again the exact picture Graham presented to the Minister in LSD yesterday morning. Everyone up there, uh, top echelons, is saying there is no need for panic. Corporal Jones, don't panic. And uh, I'm merely, we merely experience that this is a quote, by the way on my thing, you know, somebody said this. We are merely experienced a slowdown in growth. Brackets, but still growth. So it's going like that, and now it's going like that. Not that. So that said yesterday, we're merely experiencing a slowdown in growth, but still growth. And there is no need for the infrastructure to contract, so why are you doing it? So we are saying it's too late. Uh, it never is too late, but the provider infrastructure is about to start closing down. Uh, and I'm not being melodramatic, for those of you who have to make redundancies or tell employers you can't start people till August or whatever, if you can survive that long. So while this is happening to the independent sector, um, we hear that some colleges are giving back underused money. In one single case, Graham heard about yesterday, as much as £600,000. So that's quite good, they're giving it back. And we get to it again. 
the LSE's data system um, is just not producing a real-time picture. And without it, the word that they are constantly using is caution. I think we'd all behave the same, it, particularly if we're the new chief exec of the, the LSC that's in clear financial difficulties, and you're a very experienced corporate recovery guy. You're going to want to lock down and really try and understand what commitments you've made and how you're going to manage this complex situation. So I don't blame them for that at all. And uh, anyone going into any new organisation wants to look at the numbers. And as far as I can tell, they've got lots of different numbers, but I don't know which ones are the right ones. So we like the national rhetoric, and we need this to be reflected in sensible budget allocations being communicated to the youth. You know, we've all probably had next year's maximum contract value at around 20% or 70% is the highest I've heard uh, of what we need. So I can only assure you that it's the most important issue at the moment and uh, we're totally on the case full time. So let me finish with a plea for the future and uh, an offer for the future. Uh, with new funding bodies under design and they're increasingly uh, proven to provide a track record of delivery, the independent sector should now be trusted as never before to respond to employer and learner demand and offer them the skill development and personal development that the government quite rightly aspires to offer. In short, we say to the government and those who aspire to be the next government, if you want to develop the skills of the nation and that everyone acknowledges are so vital and both parties do, uh, all three parties, for all of our well-being, make full use of us or ignore us at your peril. Thank you very much. Thanks for listening.